Joining us now by phone is Cal Fire San Diego Captain Frank Lococo. Uh, Captain, thank you for joining us. You know, we were uh, we were talking about densely populated areas last night that were not of concern, uh, such as Julian that we used as a point of reference, not at risk as of last night. Has that changed any more threat there? Thanks for having me. So, like you said, uh, last night we had significant fire activity um, with the fire growing to 2,900 acres. Um, the winds are still coming out of the west, so the majority of the fire is still pushing east. Um, there is some fire backing towards the wind, but the rate of spread is much slower than the head of the fire at this current time. And then, Captain, the wind advisory in that area is not expected to expire until later on tonight. I know one of the biggest tools, air support. Can you talk about the challenges in using that today? So, yeah, yesterday we ran into some issues with the winds exceeding 35 miles an hour, and we had to ground our fixed-wing aircraft. Our helicopters were still able to fly. Um, this morning, with the wind forecasted to be about 15 to 25 uh, we're waiting for our air attack plane to lift from Ramona, assess the weather at the fire, and determine if our resources can fly. Um, currently, he is still at Ramona due to the marine layer not allowing him to lift, so hopefully that subsides soon so he can assess the, uh, the needs of the fire. So talk about the challenges, if you don't mind, Captain. Uh, as far as terrain goes, you mentioned that this is a largely uninhabited area. That's fortunate, of course, um, that it's not moving toward places like Julian. But that tells me the terrain might be making things more difficult. Of course, yeah, it, it is pretty rugged terrain. Um, it, it's varying degrees of, of vegetation. And that coupled with uh, relatively high temperatures with 82 and, and single digit relative humidities with that wind um, can cause really significant fire activity. And that coupled with, with altering uh, topographies and steep grades can, can make things challenging. I know we talked about the air support. How much manpower do we have uh, fighting this fire right now? Uh, assigned today, we're looking at over 200 firefighters. 200 firefighters, okay, and, and still at this point, three structures burned at last count, correct? That's correct, three structures either destroyed or damaged, unknown if they're actual residents or outbuildings, and we'll find that out later. Can you really quickly, before we let you go, Captain, we say something about the evacuations. We know the, the campground there had been evacuated overnight. Any more that you see happening throughout the day today? Uh, we did evacuate Butterfield Ranch Campground and then some of the homes in the outlying areas. There is some, some sparsely populated houses in the, in the surrounding areas around that, uh, that fire, and they were uh, evacuated to Agua Caliente Park, and Red Cross is there to assist with those displaced folks. And as, as we assess the fire, we can um, increase those evacuation orders as necessary. Captain, thank you so much for your time. We know you have a very busy day ahead. We do appreciate it. Yeah, hope you stay safe. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.